the material in this video is gonna be great. It's not gonna physically change you, but I feel like if I make another pun, I'm gonna be physically assaulted, aren't I? In this video, we're gonna learn about physical materials. It'll be the start. On the following video, we're gonna start doing decals and stuff like that, so this will be the starting point for physical materials. So you're gonna learn about how to make them, and then we're gonna implement different physical assets on different parts of our enemy so that we can register a different amount of damage per body part. It's gonna be super cool, but if you are new to the channel, my name is Taken Grace, and I make Unreal Engine tutorials and videos just like this. So, so if you do wanna become a better game dev, like the video, subscribe, and join the Discord. Lots of great game devs on there that are always willing to help out and get better just like you. All right, let's uh, jump over to Unreal Engine before I get physically sick. All right, let's get started on the. Uh, all right, let's get started. <laughs> uh, let's get started on the uh, physical materials. Okay, let's first start going to the edit menu, and we're gonna go to project settings. Uh, we are going to search for physical materials. And let's uh, did I spell something wrong? And okay, here we go. Type in physical, and that is all. Okay. All right, here. Engine physics, this is where you can set all of the physical materials you want at your game, okay? So before we set any, uh, we're gonna do all of the body parts for our enemies, okay? So we're gonna do head, we're gonna do chest, we're gonna do abdo, we're gonna do limb, and limp. <laughs> Don't demonetize me, limp. Um, and then we're gonna do, well, the extremities, we'll just say the, you know, the feet slash hands I guess extremities is too big of a word for me to type right now anyways okay so there we have a surface type uh, for all of those things you can go ahead in your game and you can add a surface type for wood or you know stone or water or grass whatever you want and you can have up to 62 custom surface types in your project it says up here okay that is where you add these in uh, of course, that's not enough to actually implement these physical materials in, okay? We're going to be doing more physical materials later uh, in a couple videos. Actually, here's the next video. I think it's the next video. Uh, we're going to be doing decals. So when we shoot the decals, the decals are going to change based on the physical material that you're interacting with, okay? So, uh, so we will be coming back to this. Uh, you can add these in now, but we're going to add them again in the next video. But right now, we just want head, chest, abdo, limb, feet, and hands. Okay? Okay. Um, let's go, uh, let's exit out of this now. We need to create a physical material now. So we're going to do that. Uh, we'll go to our content first person. Uh, let's do it here. We'll make a new folder called materials. We will open that up. We'll make a new material, uh, pardon me, a new folder called physical materials. F physical mass. Love it. Okay. All right. Moving on here. Once you are inside this, we're going to right click. We're going to go to material. I lied. We're going to physics and then we're going to go to uh, physical material. Okay. And we're going to select the parent class which is just physical material. We're going to hit select and now we're going to name this PA underscore head. Okay. Uh, let's open this one up first. You're going to get something that looks like this. Okay. So um, this is where you can set up the the parameters for this specific physical material, okay? How much friction it has, uh, what the static friction is. You can roll over all these. It tells you what all of them do. The ones we actually care about are down here. We have the surface type. So the head will be the head, okay? And the damage modifier. So the way your damage system is going to work is we are going to um, multiply it down, okay? So... The head, we're going to leave it one because we want it to do the maximum amount of damage that that weapon can do, okay? Um, we are going to now save this. Uh, we will duplicate this and we'll make a PA underscore chest. And uh, we can just make them all now. PA underscore abdo. PA underscore, what do we got? Limb? Li limp again. Oh, again, limp. I don't... Whew. Nobody tell anybody. I put limp twice in one video. Uh, okay, limp. And why do I keep saying limp when it's limb? God! Uh, last one is feet, hands. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's open the three of these, or the four of these. Oh I, oh, I see. You can't do them. You have to do them all individually, it looks like. Okay, limb. We are going to do limb. And the multiplier, I think I, I had it at point 0.4. That seems super low, to be honest. 0.6. Probably is better. Okay, and then uh, head. Is it? Uh, no, we did head hands. Uh, we'll do hands, and then we'll do 
1.5, I guess, for the hands. I had it really low before. It sucks. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Uh, okay, so this is the chest, and the chest will be 0.8. Uh, the abdo, I think I'll have 0 0.7. So abdo, 0.7. Okay, there. Our physical materials are made. Uh, now we got to actually put them on our mannequins. So if you guys didn't haven't followed the series, uh, we need to uh, import the third person template. So if you go to add, uh, add feature or content pack, and you're going to go to third person, and then you're going to add that to project. That's going to add the mannequin specifically, which is what we need. Okay. We are going to make enemies uh, later, uh, probably uh, two episodes from now. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll add uh, one of these uh, manis into the level so we can actually shoot them. Uh, but we are going to actually add the enemy and do any of the implementation and stuff later, okay? So we're going to go to blueprints. We don't care about that. We actually just want the characters. Uh, characters, mannequins. Uh, we want to go into meshes. And we want to, whatever one you're going to drag into the world... Uh, let's do Manny just because Quinn's a child of Manny. So uh, let's uh, double click on that. It'll take a second to skin it. This delay is brought to you by Unreal. Okay, so we have Manny's mannequins, mannequin ness here. Uh, we want to go up here to this one here where it says PA mannequin. This is the physical asset for Manny. And if you click on that, you'll see that all these little purple bubbles just appeared. <laughs> what are these guys? These are all the individual physical assets for each individual bone for Manny, okay? So we need to assign the different values to all of these. So the easiest way to do it, we'll just click on the head to start, okay? So there's the head right there. We're gonna roll over here to simple collision physical material and we're gonna select the head that we made, okay? We're gonna hit save and now this head physical material uh, has an override, which is the one we made, okay? Um, and we need to do that for all of the uh, things here. So let's just do the chest. I guess we got to do spine bones. Yeah, okay. So this spine bone number five will do the chest. The clavicle. Actually, both clavicles, let's do chest as well. Okay, and then we want the lower abdominal area. So it'll be the other spine bones. Spine two to four. We're going to have the abdo. Uh, the pelvis, we will also have the abdo. Then we're going to want the uh, lower uh, lower and upper arms for both sides, plus the thigh, calf uh, for both the legs as well. And we're going to assign our um, feet, or pardon me, our limb to that. Okay. I noticed we just forgot about the, the neck as well. We're going to assign, let's do head. Where are the head for the neck as well? Okay, and then finally the feet and the hands. We're going to assign our feet, hand, physical material to that. Okay, we're going to hit save. Uh, okay, so to test if this actually works, uh, we're going to drag our mannequin into the world here. Uh, but uh, it, it's not going to do anything just yet because uh, we have to do some additional things for it. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we need to add uh, damage into our game. Um, I think I did this in a separate video. I ended up cutting it out because I actually didn't even use it in that video and I thought it was a waste of time. So uh, mine's already done, but I'm just going to show you guys what to do here. So in the first person, we're going to go to data. We're going to go to weapon data and we're going to wait for weapon data open, even though it's going to take an eternity. There we go. Okay. So you can see I've already created the float variable for damage right here in the weapon data. Okay, so just do that uh, right now. Make a new variable. Uh, after that, we need to open uh, these individually. So we'll open up each individual weapon. Um, if, you, if you're just joining this now and you haven't been following the series, just uh, in your weapon parent or if you have data assets, put this damage one in there. If you don't have data assets, just put it in your weapon class or your the parent class to all your weapons, basically. And then open up all of your individual weapons, okay? But for those who've been following the series, uh, we're going to come down to damage and we're going to put in a number. Uh, the sniper rifle, I want to be one shot headshot. So I'm putting in 100 because that's how, many, uh, how much health our enemies are going to have, okay? So uh, one shot headshot kills, everywhere else is going to be pr pretty much two shots. Okay, two hand shots and they die, like, come on, get real. Um, <laughs> but anyways, that's the sniper rifle. Um, the only other weird one is the RPG I put to 200 because I want them to be, you know, dead no matter where we hit them. So 200 seems reasonable. Um, okay, SMG, what did I do for that? 20, because it's a burst. So I think that's what I did. Because if you shoot chest and you get the burst 
shots coming up. I think that's going to be pretty good. These are all changeable. Like, test your game out. Make sure it's fun. Make sure, you know, it's pretty balanced. And you can just tweak these and change these as you go, right? Uh, the shotgun, I did 20 because each individual line trace for the shotgun is going to do damage. So uh, if you're right up close and you shoot uh, and five line traces hit that person, uh, it's going to be doing some massive damage, right? So, um, yeah, that's pretty good for the shotgun. Uh, the RPG I already talked about. The pistol, I think I did 15. I did 15 for the pistol. And AK was 25. Okay. So make sure that that is all done. Okay, two places uh, you need to add some stuff in here. Um, if, you've do, if you're doing only a projectile system, I'll just do that first. We just did the projectile system a couple of videos ago. Uh, okay, in your projectile base that we made a couple of videos ago, uh, we made this uh, on Event Begin Overlap. So when our collision for our bullet hits something, uh, we are going to add an impulse to location. But we're also going to be damaging the enemy up here, okay? We're not going to be doing the full damage system yet. We're just going to make sure that this works here, okay? So um, we can actually probably reuse this print string because we don't need to know what actor we're hitting anymore. Uh, all right, so before we get this, we actually forgot to, uh, I forgot to do one thing. So up here, this is where we are getting our events set and use from our projectile object pool. We are calculating the transform, blah, 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 blah. We've done all that. What we need here is this player reference that we've used because obviously if we've ran this we have a reference to our player already, okay? So, um, uh, okay, so we need to uh, calculate something here specifically. So, every gun has damage that we just put in it with the gun data. So, we want to transfer that information over to our projectiles, okay? So, um, obviously, every single gun, if you're using a, a completely implemented projectile system with no hit, hit scans, uh, every single weapon is going to have a different damage output, so we want to make sure we're transferring the correct damage from the gun that we're using to the, uh, to the bullet, okay? So, uh, we need to make a new variable called uh, bullet damage, we'll call it. Okay, and this will be a float. Okay, we're going to grab our player. We're going to drag up here and we're going to get our equipped weapon. That equipped weapon, we need to get the uh, gun data. Or, or wherever you have your weapon damage. Okay. And then we're going to get uh, damage. Okay. That we are going to plug into and set here for bullet damage. All right, let's plug it, plug that in. Perfect. Let's hit compile, and uh, down here now, we are going to uh, grab our damage, our bullet damage. Pardon me. Get it. All right. So, and then out of physical material object reference, we're going to drag that out, and we're going to get damage modifier and it's coming out as a struct you just got to split it and then you get access to the uh to the float and we're going to multiply our bullet damage by our damage threshold okay and then we're going to plug that in and we're just going to see what that outputs okay um so this is only for projectiles right now this should work so let's uh, just have a test here whoa i just had to skip ahead here because i was having an issue with my uh projectiles not working and you know you know what it was you'll see something the dumbest thing ever the dumbest thing ever. It was, uh, so this, so box collision. I didn't tell it to ignore itself. It can hit itself, everybody. Did you know that? The dumbest thing ever. That happened to me, uh, that uh, also happened to me with, uh, what's it called? The rocket launcher thing in the debug video last time. It should not be able to hit itself. That's ridiculous. All right, so we plug this in now. We're gonna hit compile. We're gonna print our string for the damage here. So we shoot. And it should be zero. Modifier threshold for that is zero. But when we hit our mannequin dude, it's still zero. Oh wait, I forgot. This this took me two days to find back in the day when I was doing decals for the first time. And oh boy, it uh, it really pissed me off. So anyways, we're gonna go to box collision settings. And this is inside the projectile base here. We're gonna go down to this little advanced uh, tab here. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna check return material on move. You don't check that, it doesn't return the material and you get an access non air just like you did. Okay, uh, we're gonna hit play now. We're gonna test it out now. So we're gonna hit uh, this and now we're getting 80 damage because we shot him in the chest, 100 because we shot him in the head. All right, the limb did 60 damage, the abdomen did 70. So there, that's all working great now. Perfect, uh, let's add that same code in for the hit scan stuff if you guys are d doing that. Uh, if you've done only projectile stuff, you can skip ahead to the chapter after that but uh anyways we're gonna go weapons weapon class 
we're gonna do this inside our um, hit scan line trace. So right after this, uh, we will just print a string here and we'll do the same thing. We're gonna get our physical material. We're gonna get our damage modifier. We're gonna split this guy and we are going to get our, um, I guess we need our player hay. We should have a reference by this point. So get player, uh, get the, get equipped weapon and then get the gun data and then get the damage. Okay, we'll multiply that by this and we'll plug this in there. Perfect, okay, we'll chest all the hit, hit weapons now. Oh, it didn't print a string. Why didn't it print a string? Oh, because we put it after, we if, sorry, I guess we gotta do this before we we ask it if it's simulating physics. We'll just move everything down. We will, uh, let's break this. Let's move this over here. Plug this in here, plug this in here. There we go. Okay, that'll be, that should work now. So, boom. Oh yeah, look at all them line traces. That's, that's a death, right? That is a death I would not want. Anyways, okay, so that works great now. There you guys go, you got physical material in your game attached to your enemies so you can do different damage. In the next video, we're gonna be doing decals. We're gonna expand on our uh, system where we're gonna be doing bullet holes and each bullet hole is going to change based on the material asset or the material, physical material that it hits. Special thanks to my coffee members, of course. If you guys want to become a coffee member, you get access to my personal vault of assets. Higher tiers get access to my videos early and access to project files. If you want to become a coffee member, check the description down below. But if you want to keep learning, you guys can check this video out right here. It's going to be super awesome. But otherwise, keep learning until you game over. Peace.